I fall in love with places that I have never even been to. You know why? Because I have a special affinity for new, unexplored destinations. It could be an unknown place, a cuisine that's barely sampled, a culture that's abandoned or a history that's forgotten. If it's off the trodden path, then I am looking for it. I am Mayang Chang and I am a seeker. A seeker of the lost essence of India. Partnered by Spotify. Download now. Lenovo Yoga, Yoga for All of Us and White Hat Junior. What good is a Goa trip if you don't sample the exquisite Goan cuisine? Especially when you're traveling solo, food can be your best companion. Now, when I come to Goa, I have a usual list of suspects. Pork quindaloo, Goan fish curry, chicken shakuti. But this time, I'm looking for flavors that are off the chart and are not found on any Goan restaurant menu. I'm talking about the exquisite and one of Goa's most authentic cuisines, the Gaud Saraswat Brahmin cuisine. But if it's not found in any restaurant, where will we get it? That's what you're going to find out today. Come with me. salty air, cool breeze, and the quest to unearth the forgotten. I'm heading to Kambarzua, which is about 24 kilometers from Panjim. I'm going to reach a ferry and go to Goa's unexplored backwaters to that town where all of the Brahmins live. This is Saraswat Brahmin. There are a couple of ways to get to Kambarzua, but I am here to take the road less traveled. Let me show you my ride for the day. How are you? Thank you. How are you? Good, good, good. Very. <laughs> Very excited. <laughs> Goodbye, world. Here we go. I always thought that Kerala is the only place with backwaters in India. Well, pardon my ignorance. Little did I know that even Goa has these beautiful backwaters that I am enjoying right now. The 15 km Kambarzua Canal connects the two main rivers of Goa, the Manduvi and the Zuari. And here's another wild surprise. These backwaters are filled with crocodiles. Yes, you heard me right. Is pani mein magar rehte hain. Aur kaha jata hai ki these crocodiles are not native to this place. Rather, it is believed that about a hundred years ago, they were introduced in these waters to keep enemies away. Jo bhi ho, I truly hope that I get to spot a few of them today. Unlike human beings, crocodiles are cold-blooded. They like to take the heat from the sun. And aaj thodi si kismat achhi hai ki the sun is there. Thodi si dhup nikli hui hai. And in situations like these, I'm really pretty lucky. So, fingers crossed. On an average, 22,000 tourists visit Goa every day. But only a handful of them come here. That's how rare these backwaters are. And speaking of rare, I believe the crocodiles have decided not to give me a rare appearance. Hmm, this reminds me of a lot of Amazonian jungles that I've seen, watched in movies and have imagined how it must look like if I've read books. And it's just so beautiful. It's, it's peaceful, it's full of dangers. No crocodile sighted today, but Suraj has promised me that we will see one crocodile in the morning. Right? Let's go then. Today I will see a crocodile. Hey, Suraj, what are you doing? The crocodile is waiting for me, right here. Come with me, come, 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 come. Hello, hello, hi. Hi, how are you? 
आई फाइनली सीन माई फर्स्ट क्रॉकोडाइल सूरज ने थोड़ा सा ट्रिक ले किया मेरे ऊपर इट्स नॉट अ रियल क्रॉकोडाइल बट लेट मी टेल यू दिस इज एक्चुअली जस्ट टोल्ड मी दैट दिस इज अ रिचुअल आउट अ लोकल रिचुअल वे दे वो शिप द क्रॉकोडाइल एज अ डेटी and uh, the reason they do that is so that the crocodile can take care of their fields it can get rid of all the pests like rats and it's an annual ritual and what they also do is that they place a live chick in its mouth and that signifies life this is something that is very similar in the egyptian civilization also from what i've heard that they used to the ancient egyptians they used to worship crocodiles from the river nile for the very same reason that it takes care of them the people who are settled on the banks of the nile and two different parts of the world but similar thoughts who would have known this crocodile festival is very unique to this part of goa in the local konkani tongue it is called mange thapni and i'm honored to be a part of something so meaningful and spiritual so much so that my disappointment of not being able to spot a real crocodile is quickly washed away by this experience of a sacred culture and tradition Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you everybody. Thank you. This is really beautiful and I also pray to this deity that he will keep your fields safe and all of you happy. Thank you so much. And now that I have the blessings of the deity, it's my time to go on to the next step of my journey. As always, follow me. So apart from crocodiles you also have a lot of other wildlife which this place harbors. Right now just a one peacock but I'm sure there are many many more because we can hear them all the time. This river also has a lot of other marine life which is integral to the ecosystem and all the local cuisine and uh, they provide both sustenance and sport to the locals out here. Suraj is taking me to one of his friends who catches crabs for a time pass. Now I have never seen anybody catch crabs. I only bought them from the market. So let's go have a look. This should be interesting. I just heard that you are catching crabs. I wanted to check it out as well. Yeah. Okay. Suraj's friend Vignesh, who knows all about crab catching, was kind enough to explain this fine art to me. So basically, these are the net. Okay. We used to catch the crab. Uh huh. You tie a bait here. Okay. okay. You drop it in the water mm -hmm. and you wait like for 15 20 minutes. So the mud crabs from here are exported all around the world. But mere liye the most important thing right now is that I should be able to import them right here because I am very hungry and I want to take them to my guests. So let's see if we are lucky enough आ जाओ भाई वैसे माई क्रैब्स आर लुकिंग वेरी फ्रेंडली राइट नाउ कैन होल्ड लेम इफ यू वॉन्ट आई शो द ट्रिक रिली ओके ओके वाई नॉट Okay. Okay. Yeah, we go. <laughs> Not bad. Mr. Pranesh, I have a favor to ask of you. Okay, go ahead. I'm actually going to meet some people for the first time and it feels a little odd if I go empty-handed. So, is it all right if I take these crabs with me? Of course, go ahead. Anyways, you are the one who caught them. Thank you so much no for everything, huh? Thank you. In you go. Now at the end of the backwaters we're entering the quaint little village of Kumarzua. And it is said that there is an artist, there is a painter, there's a sculptor in each and every house of this village. Now that just makes me so happy. So I have cruised through the backwaters and though I did not get to see a crocodile, I learned some interesting things about them, worshiped them and thanked them and also 
fished for some fresh crabs and now my hunger is at its peak. This is just the right time to knock on the doors of a local Saraswat Brahmin. Hello. Hi, Sam. How are you doing? Good, good, good. good. Nice to see you. Nice yeah. to see you too oh and thank God. you so much for having me. And yes, crabs are there. I'm waiting to cook this food. <laughs> I'm very hungry. I know. Come, come. <laughs> Let's go and cook it. Soon. Yeah, yeah. chal. My mom. Namaste. 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 And I am so grateful that you have let me come home so that I can try your cuisines. I've heard so much. She's promised to cook up a storm tonight. Yes. Should I trust her? Oh, yes. Chalo, so we'll not waste time. Chalo, 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 chalo. Chang, let's cook it. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I see you've already done all the preparation. So we have all the masalas uh -huh. and the coconut and everything ready here. So Brahman cuisine and fish. I'm sure there's a very interesting legend about that. Basically, uh, we Saraswat. We had uh, travelled from this Saraswati river. Okay. Okay, and when we came uh, to Goa, the river was dried up. Because the river was dried up, we couldn't grow too much of vegetables right. and you know, uh, fruits and all right. that. So that is why we were allowed to have fish in our cuisine. Oh. So then we got used to the fish. I mean, our ancestors, uh, they got that taste of fish. Right. And then, then you know. Uh, once you eat fish, you cannot leave fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's blood on your lips. So yeah. that is how the story is. So this is fried fish, which is a must on uh, thali. Yes. Okay. So fish has been on my mind all day long. I know, I can see it on your shirt. You're Hana? wearing fish too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. These are the right types of crabs. You know, there are actually two, three varieties of crabs. Mm -hmm. so one is white crabs, rock crabs. And these are the rock crabs and this is actually tastier mm -hmm. and with a lot of flesh. Okay. So you have got the right thing. By the way, I have to tell you this that Madhumita is a person of many, many talents. She's an advocate, she fights for truth and justice and she is ensuring that ये जो सारस्वत क्वीज़ीन है, ये बने रहे, they should be preserved, they should be kept in its purest form, and more and more people should know about it. And more and more people should taste it. Yes. Even like how you have come today to Goa, I I want more and more people to come and taste all this. Absolutely. Sorry, आप लोगों को खाने नहीं मिलेगा. Only we will get to taste it. Right? You can just look at it, feel jealous. That's about it. The moment I've been waiting for is finally here. So this is your fish. Wow. Fried fish. That looks amazing. This is the crab which we have just cooked. This is a prawns curry. Okay. This is the sole curry. Which hmm. shall yes. be of Goan and of course Saraswat cuisine. This is the kheer. Mm -hmm. And this is called as sukke. Sukke. Yeah. Okay. Chang, uh, this is the thali mm -hmm. which I have uh, specially cooked for you. And this is the crab that I've been craving and I'm going to be absolutely, I mean, I'll eat both hands with both hands. You know what? You have to give me some credit as well. If I hadn't caught such good crabs. Yeah, right, right. right. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you have no idea how good this food is. And I really, really wish that you could share this with me. But I do not want to share it with you. This is so good. I want to Thank eat it so all by myself. Thank you so much, Madhumita. Thank you. I've always had a soft spot for home-cooked food. What about it makes it so special? Those who truly appreciate food and the effort and emotion that goes behind it know what I'm talking about. Food is relationships, food has stories, food has culture, food has history. And in today's case, food is legacy. The Saraswat Brahmin cuisine might be restricted within the community today, but this scrumptious legacy has now become a part of me, of who I am. Who am I? And I am the seeker of the lost essence of India. With soul curry, I say to you, cheers.